Good afternoon, my beautiful yogis and yoginis. I am Miranda, and you are here with May Yoga. Today's practice is going to be a short one, just a nice way to do a quick full body stretch, a bit of a focus on working out those beautiful legs. If this is your first time practicing with me, please check the description below this video, find a link for a separate video called Tips for a Safe Yoga Practice, and watch that first. As always, have some water nearby you in case you need it. This won't be anything too intense, but it's always important to stay hydrated. So make sure that you are in nice, comfortable clothing. Get to a standing position in the center of your mat, and I'll see you there. All right, guys. So beginning, just starting to warm up the body here with the arms swinging all the way up overhead, giving some space between your ears and the arms, and then go ahead and bring the hands together. We're moving to side bend, moving over to the left hand side, working out the right side of the body, making sure you're a nice one plane during all of this, coming up to the top and then moving over to the right. Hands are clasped, pulling in the whole body here, making a nice lateral bend. On that next inhale, go ahead and come up to standing again. Releasing the hands, come up to a tippy toe. Maybe you get a little wobbly with me, let the body recalibrate, strengthening the calves, and then bringing the hands back down to the heart. Start to step the feet wide apart now. You're gonna want your feet parallel to each other so the toes are pointed to the side of the mat. And then you're gonna be bringing your hands to the hips. Prasarita Padatanasana, wide-legged forward fold, hinging at those hips bringing the head down towards the mat. Just keeping your hands on your hips for this first one, letting yourself warm up the legs in a nice way. On that next inhale, we're gonna to start to move over to the left side. So you can start to walk those fingertips over towards the left foot, turning it out at a 90 degree angle. Your right foot stays pointed to the side of the mat and just folding over gently over that extended left leg. You can bring yourself up a little bit here, give yourself some height if you need it. And just holding here for the last few moments. And then bringing that left hand, sorry, right hand to the front of the le uh, leg, drawing that left arm up to the sky, just working a bit into the shoulders, getting a little bit of a twist here. And then on your next exhale, you're gonna be bringing that right hand back down to the ground and then weaving that left arm behind your back, bringing it towards the right hip. Just again, doing some twist work here, warming up the spine, looking up at the sky if you have that balance, squeezing it all here. Start to release that, release the hands back down. And then we're gonna be moving that back foot. So the heel comes up and both feet are pointed in the same direction. Just doing straight legged here, making sure that your feet are hip width distance apart, maybe bowing the head forward if you have that flexibility, holding for just the last few moments. And now we're gonna be working towards our warrior one. So you're gonna be bending that front knee so that it is stacked over the ankle, not past the ankle, protect those knees. And when you're nice and stable, feet are hip width distance apart, you're gonna inhale, swing those arms up to the sky. So holding here in warrior one, or if you have that balance and you wanna go a little deeper here, you can move to that crescent lunge. Just going into a little back bend for a moment. Wherever you are, hold there, and then moving up to warrior two. So your feet are 90 degree angle again. That left foot is pointed to the side, right foot is pointed out, arms are straight, palms face down. Moving from warrior two, we're gonna to go to extended side angle. So drawing yourself down, getting a nice stretch along the, the side of our bodies. And we'll be moving into reverse warrior next. So right hand comes to the outside of the right leg, left arm up and over, left palm is facing down towards the ground. Inhale, come up. And now we're gonna be moving back to Prasarita Pradhanasana. So feet again are parallel, toes pointed to the side, hinging at the hips, bringing your torso down towards the ground, maybe going a little deeper, grabbing the outside of the legs, or using those first two fingers, the peace fingers, to wrap around the big toes to help pull you deeper into this pose. 
folding here. Now we're going to be moving to the opposite side, moving over to our right. So turning that right foot out so that it is again 90 degrees from the left, walking the fingers over. And first, just doing a nice little stretch here with the feet at that right angle. Maybe bowing your head forward again if that's what you feel like, if you have that flexibility. And now bringing that right hand to the front of the leg, left arm floats up to the sky. Doing a twist throughout the torso here, looking up at the sky if you can. On that next exhale, you're going to switch arms down. So bringing that left hand down, right arm swings up behind the back and comes towards the hip. Twisting the head again, this is a whole torso twist here. Squeezing it all, wringing out the sponge of your torso. And then moving both arms to the front again. We're going to work towards getting both feet pointed to the same side. So legs stay straight to begin. Feet are hip width distance apart. Again, bowing the head, closing the eyes here for a moment. If you do have that flexibility, releasing the forehead to the leg. And then coming up, we're going to be moving towards our warrior one or crescent lunge. Again, that knee is stacked over the ankle. Make sure that you have those feet at a proper hip width distance. And when you're ready, inhale, swing those arms up, either going to warrior one or for that extra back bend challenge, interlace the fingers and move into that back bend, looking up at the sky, shining that heart, opening the chest and the shoulders. Inhale, come all the way up, moving to warrior two. That right knee is at 90 degrees, palms face down, looking over towards the right hand. Moving to extended side angle, right arm comes down to the top of the right leg, left arm floats up, looking up at the sky. And then we'll be moving to reverse warrior. So left hand comes down, remember not on the knee, on the outside of the leg, above or below the knee, stretching out. And then coming back, warrior two, before straightening both legs, hands on the hips. And from here, we're gonna actually open up the feet a little wider, as wide as you like here. We're gonna move so that the crown of the head is coming towards the ground. So the top of the head there, you're gonna to try to reach the ground. If you can't, it's okay. Just going as deep as you can here to hold. And then releasing the hands behind your back, if you like, clasp the fingers together, getting an extra beautiful shoulder stretch here, a little bonus shoulder work. Closing the eyes, taking that beautiful long breath. And then to come out of this, releasing the hands down to the mat. Next, we're going to be working, kind of starting to heel toe the feet together, or maybe you can just hop the feet together, whatever you feel like, just coming so that the feet then turn out 45 degrees from each other. And we're going to be moving to goddess pose. So bending into this squat here, arms come out to the side. You can make nice mudra with your hands here or just relax your hands on your hips if you feel. And then turn the feet parallel. Bring that left hand down to the ground. Right hand floats up to the sky. Holding here for a breath. And then moving back to goddess pose, feet turn out 45 degrees, going into the squat, remember those knees are tracking in line over the feet. So your knees aren't collapsing in or out. And on that next inhale, come up, and then exhale, switching hands, bringing the right hand down to the ground, left hand floats up. Again, a nice twist here through the torso before going into that Final goddess pose. So really squatting deep into this, make it count. It's our last one. Not letting the knees collapse in or out. Squeezing it all here, strengthening all the parts of our legs. Inhale and exhale, bring the hands down. And here we can heel toe or hop our feet together. We are done with this part. 
doing a nice forward fold to release it all. And then bending the knees slightly. Inhale, start to roll yourself up. Coming all the way up to standing position. Swing those arms up to the sky. Palms touch. And exhale down to your heart. And that is it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this practice. If you did like it, go ahead. Feel free to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And I will look forward to seeing you again very soon. Namaste.